Greetings adventurers, and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David, and today we find ourselves in Austin, Texas. Now Austin has a bit of a reputation for having a lot of unusual things here, so of course we wanted to hunt some of them down. One such place is right here next to me, Curio Arcanum's House of Curiosities. Now this is a very interesting location that has not only all of your magical needs met, but a lot of oddities and curiosities. And you know, we're a sucker for those. So let's get inside and see what kind of magic is in the air. Come tag along. We're going to a place that you've never heard of before. It's Right when you step in, you can tell that this is an awesome store. I don't know about you, but I've always kind of had this fantasy of finding a little shop that you walk into and it's just filled with so many weird, strange, magical things that you just know something special is happening here. Well, that's the exact vibes that this store checks. No matter what you're looking for, even if you have no idea the kind of thing you're trying to find, this is where you just might find it. Now, there is an absolute feast for the eyes here on the first floor, but if you really want to dig into the curiosities, the second floor is the place to be. You walk up these stairs, with tons of really cool paintings and portraits framed on the sides, and then you're in some place like no other. I guess calling it a museum is probably the closest you can get to accurate, but that feels like it's selling this place short, because it is far more than just a museum. I guess for now, we can call it a collection. A collection of curiosities. Again, you never know what you're going to see here, such as Count Olaf's tuxedo from the Netflix series, or over here, Cain and Abel. This is a model of Siamese twins. Well. They're skeletons, at least. And this alligator knight is probably one of my favorite things I have seen anywhere. I would totally put that in my house. Moving forward, we see things like a majestic jackalope, a flying pig, and then a very interesting version of a Fiji mermaid. It almost looks like it's got a hawk or bird head there. There's plenty of other oddities in jars in this case. You see uh, lots of different creatures, including a little duck that has far too many legs. There's a pig there. And then at the bottom, something that looks very much like a sea devil. And oh, a classic painting of a sideshow Fiji mermaid. And yes, there's some of those sea devils. Very, very interesting for sure. Then this was a new one on me, the Wolpertinger. It looks like it's related to a jackalope, but it's got some wings. This is apparently uh, commonly seen in Germany. Had to keep an eye out for that one. There's really no end to how unusual some of these things are. You think you know what to expect, and then suddenly, bam, there's a gorilla hand. <laughs> it's just a super unique collection that I am sure they took quite a while to gather and put together here for us to see. Now, of course, we love things like Ripley's Believe It or Not that also shows off oddities and historical things. Those are amazing, and it's great that the public gets to see it. But it just hits a little different when you're seeing it upstairs in a dimly lit little shop with everything kind of shoved into every corner as best as it can. Something about it just feels a little more mystical and curious. I think everyone who's into this kind of thing kind of dreams of having a collection like this of their own. Maybe a nice little lounge somewhere where it's all given over to the study of things like this. I mean, there's even this section here about corpse coins and corpse photography. Very different, but very interesting. I think there's also a little bit of the vibe of a 
dime museum in here, kind of a sideshow feel. Everything is presented very nicely. You get that kind of kitschy feeling, but in the best way possible. It's not uh, hokey in any way or corny. It feels like they've done it just right. And being on the mystical side of things, it makes sense that they have stuff such as this here, which is typed out rituals for the Order of the Unknown Philosophers, in case you were interested in that. And then some old magic books. These are actual occult books, earlier editions of them here on display. There's also some different items used in cult rituals and pomp and circumstance kind of things. Really gives you a little bit of insight into these exclusive societies. And then I love this, different cards from performers who used to work with P.T. Barnum. Now, as you may expect, they have a great book section with tons of magic and interesting things covered. One I wanted to point out, this is their own book. This is The Mystic Art of Curia Arcanum, which is also the name of the store. This is an introductory level about magic. It seems like it teaches you the general basics about things. And it says, imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. I think we can all stand by that. Indeed, if there's one thing this shop can do, it is certainly sparking the imagination. I mean, Pygmy Mummy, that alone could spawn so many different stories in your head. You just look around on the top shelves, and there's different items all screaming out to be looked at, investigated, and explored for all the possibilities that they hold. And if you want to start a curiosities cabinet of your own, there's even a few select specimens for sale. Now something you certainly have to do before you leave is join the very exclusive Order of the Fancy Hat. You don't have to make any pledges, no secret handshakes or anything like that. All you have to do is get this amazing red fez or one of the other fancy hats. You put this on and you are inducted right away as a member and you even get a membership card to make it official. We're always a fan of fancy hats here, so make sure you pick one up. Along with your new membership to the Fancy Hat Society, there's other pieces that you can scoop up to proudly display in your home and show everybody that you're a fan of the slightly more unusual out in the world. Now, some of these do get a little extreme, so I understand if you don't want it hanging in your dining room, but all of them are very unique and very uh, one-of-a-kind pieces. Or who knows, maybe your sofa is missing a full-size voodoo doll. This is certainly way cuter than just a simple throw pillow. You can use this to uh, have a good conversation sometimes, maybe. It stops you from being lonely. Well, adventurers, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, one more piece of magic. We have here the coin of fate. And basically, any decision in your life, this is going to tell you yes or no what you should do. So the question right now, if you're not already, should you subscribe to Abnormal Voyages? Let's find out. Boom. Just like that, it says yes. So don't disobey the coin. Make sure you hit that button. <laughs> My name is David. And this has been Abnormal Voyages. Thanks for tagging along. We'll see you next time.